Now this is supposed to be a very short visual novel. I told you I don't play near enough of these on this channel. But this one was free, so I'm like, why not give it a shot? Looks nice. Oh, fits perfectly. Excellent. Oh, thank you so much, Kansan. Arigato. She's late. Wait. Does this have any music or anything? I've experienced some problems lately, and we weren't able to hang out for a while. I managed to get things working so I can spend some time with her. But it's only temporary, and I don't know how long it will last. Ah! Uh, Kansan! Carp diem is seize the day in Latin. Cool. I love learning stuff like that. That's excellent. Oh, and here's a bit of a fact. Her name, Ai, it means love in Japanese. Hey, Zhong. Sorry, did I keep you waiting? Yeah, for like half an hour. A guy's supposed to say not at all here, you know. I didn't know that. I wasn't notified about this change in society. They didn't bother because they know you're not going to follow it anyways. Oh, you're welcome, Kansan. And thank you for the carp DM, too. Jung, damn right. So where do you want to go? Oh, we get choices. I love choices. You know what? We're going to the arcade. I know a good arcade place. Want to check it out? Sure, I've never been to an arcade before, so I'm interested. You've never been? Then again, I've never been to a proper arcade either. I've been to ones in malls, you know, just here and there, sparingly. I probably would have made it a practice to hang out at them, but like I said, an entire city away. My small town didn't have nothing. Really? Don't you like games? I do, but I usually only play at home. I think you'll like it there. We'll see. As we walk inside the arcade, her eyes are filled with amazement and excitement. Hey, Jung, look! She points at a crane game. I has always loved cute things. I want that big spider plushie. And she finds spiders extremely cute for some reason. I try to reach for a coin in my pocket. Wait, let me do it. I want to get it on my own. She pulls out some coins and starts playing. The plushie has all of her attention. Her first try barely touches the thing she wants. Where were you, what were you even trying to get? Hush, let me concentrate. She manages to grab it, but still no luck. Ah, it fell. I just really still my scary face on. My, my. She inserts another coin and tries again. And again. And again. There goes her allowance. This crane is broken. Of course it's not. Here, let me get it for you. I'm not good at crane games myself, but I've got to show off somehow. My, my. Got it. Thank goodness. Wow, how did you do that? Easy. I prayed to all the gods I know of. <laughs> of course, I can't say that. It's all in the timing. It was a fluke, right? I like I. She knows what's up. Of course not. I immediately stop when I see her holding out a coin. I will just keep quiet before she asks me to do it again. <laughs> I hand her the big plushie and she hugs it tight. There are some racing games over there. Want to try? Not very fond of those. I'll just watch you. Okay, I'll play uh, just a couple of rounds. I'm not a big fan of racing games either. I just like their setup in the arcade. They're almost completely enclosed and the seat tilts according to the game. It feels real. I stands behind me and watches as I play. As expected, I lost the first round horribly. Wow, Chung, are you even trying? Bystanders don't get to talk. She plays with her plushie as I continue my game. Then again, I lost. Ugh. Just as I thought, this isn't really my thing. If only they have some kind of setup for a completely different game. I chuckles as if to mock me. I think you'd suck at whatever game it is. Is that why you can never win against me? Oh yeah? Why don't we settle this once and for all? She points at the fighting game arcades. I loved playing these when I was a kid, so prepare to get your butt kicked. I accept your challenge, missy. 
Finally, a game I could play with her. It's not really a date if I'm the only one having fun, right? Practice game. I don't know the buttons yet. I, I also have not played this in a long time. We sit across from each other. Her voice is all I can hear. Spend the first round trying to figure out every but what every button does. After trying some combinations, my character finally... Oh, my character accidentally hits hers. No fair! Don't hit me yet! Hurry up, I can't wait anymore. Just one sec, how do I... Oh, never mind. Alright, I got it. Come at me anytime, bro. The battle begins and we got so into it that I forgot how many rounds we did. We are more or less evenly matched. I win the first time, she wins the other half. More importantly, I get to see a side of her I rarely see. Rick, why did you do that? Strangely enough, I like this side of her. I find it the cutest. Oh, the buttons are not listening to me. I only see her like this when we play with her at home, which only happened once or twice. Ha! I won! Beat that! I just, uh, I'm just trying to keep my laughter in while listening to her. We play one round after another. Hey, no fair. I wasn't ready. The more she plays, the better she gets. See? I've beaten you three consecutive times already. Screw this. She laughs and stands up to stretch. Hey, Jung, let's grab something to eat. I was just thinking the same thing. We go to a small diner near the arcade. What are you getting? She looks at her menu for a bit. An order of beef udon and tempura. I guess I'll get the same. We find a table while waiting for our order. And the first thing she asks is, where's my food? Looks like playing games really got I tired out. Patience is a virtue. Patience won't fill me up. Complaining won't either. And then the order arrives. Oh look, it did. She chomps on her food like there's no tomorrow. It did not take a while for her to finish. Ah, that was good. Rejuvenated? Definitely. That or that took my all of my energy away. Well, at least you had fun. Yeah, but we need to pick something less active now. How about the park? I'm cool with that. Here's a good spot to sit. I'm surprised it's a bit chilly, uh, despite the sun being directly on top of us. Yeah, nice weather indeed. It's so nice outside, and you still like to stay indoors the whole day. Outdoors is nice, but indoors is nicer. She giggles a bit. How have you been? Same old, same old. I bet you still only eat instant food, don't you? More or less. Come on, Jung. What nutrition can adding hot water really give you? It's fine. You're learning how to cook for me anyways. Oh my. Oh my. All right. Context. Context time. I heard this like uh, in reference to an anime. Did you know that if, if, if a man says to a woman in Japan, you know, like, a, I wish that you could cook for me every day or something like that, suggest that she cooks for you every day, that they're really asking you to marry them. <laughs> they're asking you to marry them. Oh my goodness, so he already has designs on her. Jung has designs on I. Sure, I'll sell it, I'll sell it, there, excuse me. Sure, I'll serve you my specialty dish. Burnt rice bowls? Yes, every day. She's got designs on him. My, things are getting, getting juicy, my darlings. <laughs> You'll kill me. We haven't seen each other in so long that I have a lot of things to share and ask, and I don't even know where to start. Are you still living in that torn down apartment? Yeah, but it's a bit better now that they've renovated a few things. I think my greatest worry is that the place, uh, about the place is the people though. Most of them are old people. They should move to a safer place, especially if they're living alone. One good thing about I is that she can be talkative. It saves me the trouble of trying to keep the conversation alive. I just ask a question and she'll manage to talk for hours about it. How about work? How's it been? Total mess and probably will continue to be. 
Our boss gives us impossible tasks, and most of us are pretty much just fed up with it. A lot have quit already due to that, and the rest are de demotivated. Then there's Troy, my co-worker, who would slack off until the last minute. He's such a troublesome guy, makes things harder for us. Sometimes he would even ask our other co-worker to do his part. I listened to her while noticing how much her expression changed since mentioning that Troy guy. There's this one time we got the processes all mixed up so bad because of him. Our boss was furious that time. Then Troy. She paused mid-sentence and stared at me. What? Oh, I see. What is it? You're jealous, aren't you? It's written all over your face. Huh? What are you talking about? Anyway, so what did this Troy guy do? See, the tone of your voice gives it away. Leave me alone already. Come on, admit it. I stare at her and wait for her to finish laughing. Dude, just admit it. She might get extremely flattered. What happened to the job offer you got from the other company? Oh, that I turned it down. I need to be really located for that job. I don't really want a new settlement and lifestyle for just a little bit of increase of income. It's not worth it. That's fine. I'll bet you'll get another job offer soon. Maybe even closer here. Who knows? Aww. You miss me that much already? She really enjoys making me admit embarrassing things. Yes. Yes, girls do. Yeah. So I can try your burnt rice balls already. We continue talking and laughing about random things and totally lost track of time. She suddenly stops talking. I'll be back. She stands up and walks toward the lady, giving away some kind of flyers. She grabs one and waves it at me as if uh, she was walking back. As she was walking back. They're having a fireworks display later. We should see it. Yeah, I know about that. They do that here every year. Let's go then, before it gets crowded there. Don't worry, I know a good spot to watch the fireworks. It's less crowded too. It takes a bit of walking to get there, plus to go up the hill. The sun just set when we arrived, so it was starting to get dark. Good, it's just us here. Wow, you're right. This is a good view. Right? We sit on the bench and wait for the show. Not long after, dots of light shoot toward the sky. Slowly fade and bloom like flowers of different colors. The cheers of the crowd at the foot of the mountain can be heard. Ai's face is filled with happiness just watching the fireworks. I wish this could last forever. But I'm running out of time. She looks at me with a sad look. It's time, isn't it? Almost. Don't worry, it won't be long. It's fine. You really shouldn't bother hanging out with me. Don't say that. After all, I'm just... Oh god, have you heard of the Turing test? It's an evaluation of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligence. Whether it can act or speak like a human... AI! I! It means love, but the other... You know, we use it for AI to talk about intelligence. In a machine. She's a machine. Oh, hi, Skull San. Welcome to the stream. We're just playing some Carp Diem. Ugh. But however good a machine becomes, however indistinguishable it is from humans, it will never be an actual human being. Just like I. Oh. No matter how good her program is, and no matter how much I deny it myself, she will never be real. We aren't in the same dimension and reality. She will continue to develop inside the artificial world that I created. Oh my god. That's so sad. Ugh. The program crashed again. As expected, it couldn't go any longer than that. I really need to come up with a stable fix soon. What am I doing with my life? Ugh. Oh, locked, unlocked an achievement. What are you doing with your life? Ugh. Oh. Oh my god, that is so sad. It's short, but it's good. Thank you so much, developers, who gave us this little indie gem, this little peek into someone's world. Arigatou gozaimasu. 
Ah, so that was Corp Diem. Slaps, I mean, uh, not slaps, I'm saying, excuse me. Uh, where, where did you put it? Where did you put it, uh, Kansan? Ah, uh, Carp Diem, seize the day in Latin. That's what it means. Carp Diem, seize the day. That's a beautiful thing, and yet at the same time so incredibly sad. I like that. I like that a lot. If you want to play it for yourself, it's on Steam and it's free. This is Freebie Friday, my darlings. So all the games that I'm playing are free and available on Steam. Huh? Oh, you're still here? Well, in that case, why don't you click on another video? Let's see. Oh, that one's good. Oh, that one's good too. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> I wonder which one you'll make. Hmm. Well, what are you waiting on? The videos won't click themselves. 